Hey guys, so today I'm working on a friend's car here. It's a, I believe it's an 05 Subaru. And uh, she was saying that it's kind of making a, a weird scrapey noise, which kind of sounds like a brake noise. And there's valve cover gaskets are leaking, so I'll be doing those too here. But so I took it for a spin around the block, and yeah, there's a, it's a definitely a brake noise, like brakes dragging. And I kind of pulled it in the garage here and got out and started looking and see how this wheel's all nice and clean and you come back to this driver's side rear corner see how this wheel's really black and all really dirty that's caked on there this wheel the caliper I think is hanging up because you look in here the rotor's really been eaten up so I'm thinking that caliper is hanging up so we're gonna dig in and see what we can find so I got the wheel off now and yeah it's dirty and there's the rotor I don't know how well you can see it but see how this is all here to it's really rough this should actually be fairly smooth and then go to try to turn it I can barely turn it and it's it should not be hanging up that much so I'm kind of thinking the caliper is sticking but I'm gonna Dig a little bit further and see what I find, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm actually impressed. I This is Subaru, and Subarus are all-wheel drive. But apparently, the rear differential must lock in and out, so you can, it sometimes is front-wheel drive, apparently, because right now it's in park, and I can spin this wheel over, so. You now, makes my job easier, so. So this is more what the, cal or the rotor should look like. This one, is smooth it's still not great it's older rotor it got new brakes to go on this thing um but this at least tells me there's nothing wrong on this side braking wise that everything's working the way it's supposed to over here now if I go to this other side with this that's definitely not right and I took and I tapped on the cal or the caliper there with the rubber mallet and I can get slightly more rotation out of it so it could just be that these slide points are sticking but I think I'm gonna go with the, my gut and say that the caliper is probably also sticking um, it's one of those things it happens I know my my older truck the right front caliper and that basically locked up on me while I was going down the road but so that's one of those things that happens. You get a little moisture in your brake fluid, and they end up getting a little bit of rust in them and seize up. So and I guess we'll see what she wants to do. All right, guys. So back. It's a couple days later. We got some parts ordered. Got um, the two oil sensors that we needed, and then we ordered a caliper for this rear corner just so we got it, just in case the caliper is bad. It's possible that it is just the slide pins are seized up, but. My gut kind of is telling me the caliper's seized up, so we'll take and dig into that. But we're gonna first go and uh, one correction I know earlier I said that when I was originally looking at this, I thought it was a 2005, it's actually a 2009, so slight correction. But so we got the two sensors here, um, this part number. This is from Rock Auto. So this is the part number for the driver side oil sensor. And then this is the part number for the passenger one. Passenger side one, if you're not sure, is the one with the single tab like that poking out the top. So Passenger side it looks like it's a 27 millimeter impact socket. It's the only thing I had that's that big, so probably have to take. I think I'm gonna have to take the alternator out to get to that one because it's down right, kind of right where down 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 there. So probably have to pull the alternator for that one. And then the driver side sensor. 15 16 fits on there snug enough where it actually holds the sensor so that's what i'm going to try at least first it probably is a metric size but 
And that is right there. That wire right there poking around. So that's just got to, I don't know if I can do it with my left hand here. No, hold on. You just get a, a little button that you gotta release, and then this harness pulls up. Looks like that, it's just a little single terminal connector. And then that one will come out. So I'm gonna get these changed and I'll check back in. So I got the passenger or the driver's side done, and this is the passenger side sensor, and this one came out, I guess I didn't really wasn't really expecting this. Um it's got an adapter piece for the the block, which is this larger uh, Teflon tape plug with a crush washer on it, it looks like. Um, so I guess if you guys are going to do yours, make sure you don't lose that washer, because I'm sure it would seal a lot better with that. But yeah, it came out as one assembly, so yeah, so you guys keep an eye for that. Um, what I ended up doing here to get to it with what I had for sockets, I ended up just taking this adjuster bolt out and then loosening the pivot bolt on the alternator so that way I can tip it up and get enough room to get in there and get that out so yeah all right got both those sensors on the front here swapped out um, there's the new one there on the passenger side and then there's the new one on the driver's side all plugged in and hooked up um yeah be nice to degrease it right now but it's about i don't know like maybe 10 degrees outside so it's kind of hard to get to a hose or a easy water source to take and spray this stuff and so it'll just have to stay kind of oily for now but shouldn't leak any more oil on top end here so that's good yeah go work on the brakes in the back now so I might set up the time lapse if I can get it working. So, catch you later in a bit. So this isn't totally typical of some all rear disc brake vehicles. Um, some of them will have the parking brake integrated into the caliper, but this has got a drum shoe, which actually makes it easier because these calipers normally are on rear brakes like this are sim pretty much the same as the front calipers usually. Um, if this were to have the integrated uh, emergency brake or parking brake in the caliper, the piston actually has to get rotated as you compress the caliper. Um, I gotta look at this caliper yet, but the slide pins on the old bracket are not froze up, so I'm thinking the caliper probably is froze up or seized up so I'll look at it a little further clean this up a little bit and start putting it back together when I'm putting the new caliper on and got the brakes bled it's gonna have my wife help me with that but she's not feeling so hot right now so I figured I'd break out mr. 2x4 and do it all by myself and well, got her done so not the most efficient way but it's done now so I'm gonna throw this wheel back on and go do the other side well, there it is. Wheels back on on this side. Um, clean the wheel up a little bit so it's a, at least it looks a little bit cleaner. It's caked on there pretty good. So, but this side's done. I'm gonna do the other side, and I'm not gonna bother filming that side because it's gonna be basically the same except for I don't have to replace the caliper. So, um, yeah. So I guess catch you guys in the next video.